Ark Survival Evolve. With 10 official maps now available and one more on the way, Ark has a lot to offer potential survivors. Each map has its own creatures, specific environment dangers, weather, and even missions and currency with the Genesis expansion. In this video, we're going through all ARC maps in order of official release, including the recently announced new map, Lost Island. First up, The Island, the original ARC, released on Steam Early Access June 2015, is possibly many players' favorite due to its simplicity. Its weather features rain, which you can drink, and a heavy fog that can make visibility an issue. The map itself features plenty of beachfront property scattered with dodos, dillos, and the occasional raptor, dangerous jungles and swamps filled with snakes and gators, a large redwood forest in the center with bees and thyla in its giant trees, rivers all throughout the island teeming with piranha, freezing snow and icy mountains with mammoths and wolves, Plenty of mountains covered in resources and large carnivores, deep dark oceans to explore, and plenty of caves with creepy crawlies to find if you like adventure. The original Ark dinosaurs we all know and love were introduced on this map. Trikes, Stegos, Raptors, Rexes, Terras, Argies, Bronos, the Giga, and more, with no fantasy creatures to be found. It has three available bosses, including the Broodmother, the Dragon, and the Megapithecus. Beat all three and gain access to the final cave of the game, the Tech Cave, to fight the Overseer and ascend your character 5, 10, or 15 levels, depending on the difficulty. The first free DLC map, The Center, was released May 2016 and was originally a mod. Though it didn't introduce any new creatures, it did introduce a new land to explore, build, and discover. This unique map features a large floating island called the Center surrounded by deadly swamps, a skull-shaped island filled with lava, ruins throughout the jungle, an ice palace, two snow-covered mountains, a scorched island with lava and dangerous dinos to tame, a giant redwood forest, many caves to explore or build in, a secret underground area and two special underwater domes unique to this map. This map's boss battle features both the Broodmother and Megapithecus at once. If you're looking for the more prehistoric arc feel with traditional dinos, but want a new map to enjoy, the center is the perfect destination for you. Scorched Earth was the first paid DLC to release for Ark Survival Evolve, and has since been the only one not to be delayed. Released in September 2016, this new story map introduced a deadly desert with new creatures based in fantasy, adding the thorny dragon, Morelitops, vultures, giant praying mantis, the cute jerboa, the dreaded deathworm, a rare metal smelting phoenix, rock golems, and three different types of wyvern, fire, poison, and lightning, which cannot be tamed but instead require players to steal their eggs to raise. The map also features many of the original island creatures like the raptor, rex, saber, wolf, and more. Known as one of the most difficult maps due to its excessive heat, lack of water, sandstorms, super heat storms, and even electrical storms that stop technology like guns and generators. Along with new creatures, this map also has new items available like silk, sand, cactus sap, an adobe structure tier, desert armor, flaming arrows, a chainsaw, a flamethrower, and more. When you're ready, test your strength against the manticore, this map's mythical boss. Ragnarok offered players another new, free, non-story DLC map in June 2017. This map included two very exciting new creatures, the Griffin and the Ice Wyvern. It combined the best of the previously released official maps, including a large scorched earth style desert, island style oceans, beaches, jungles, and redwood forests, ruins to explore and build in similar to the center, and a new canyon style biome. Despite an invisible Ice Wyvern glitch on release, it quickly became many a player's favorite map. Ragnarok offers unique mini-bosses players can find and fight, including the Ice Worm Queen, Spirit Bear, Spirit Wolf, and the Lava Elemental. This map also features giant beaver dams full of cementing paste, an active volcano, a large castle to explore, sunken ships, unique Basilosaurus corpse on the beach, plus boxes that can be broken for early game metal tools. Players must defeat both the dragon and manticore in this map's boss fight. With many creatures and biomes to explore, this map has something to offer everyone. Aberration. Released December 2017, this mostly underground map hits survivors hard with the inability to use flyers. That's right, no flying allowed. 
Instead, players can use a new glider suit, zip lines, a more primitive elevator option, and a new gliding creature, the Rock Drake, to get around. Featuring unique mushroom trees, underground rivers, the mysterious blue zone, a radioactive area full of rock drakes and their eggs, and a dangerous, fiery surface that will instantly kill you during the day. Aberration also offers survivors another chance to ascend if they can defeat Rockwell himself. New creatures include the untamable, nameless, four light pets that can protect you from them, the gliding rock drake, which can only be raised from a stolen egg, the giant crab, Carquino, the gym digging roll rat, packs of zipline walking ravagers, basilisks that bury in the ground, and of course, the royalty of darkness, reapers. Aberration also introduced climbing picks, earthquakes, plant species Z, a hazmat suit, mushrooms in place of berries, and more new things to discover. Known to be one of the most difficult maps, only the bravest of survivors should venture here. The Corrupted Earth map, Extinction, came out November 2018 and introduced a completely new Horde-style game mechanic, with special orbital supply drops, or OSDs, that fall from the sky into the wasteland. These color-coded drops are full of goodies, but first you'll have to defend them from six or more waves of the corrupted dinosaurs that roam the wasteland. Occasional meteor showers make it near impossible to build on most of the wasteland, but you'll find safety in the shielded sanctuary area in the center of the map. Either of the two special domes, which feature a separate snow and desert biome, or the underground forest that resembles aberration. New mechanical creatures, scouts, enforcers, and mechs have blueprints that can be obtained for survivors to craft instead of taming, along with malfunctioning defense units that will attack creatures, often helping out early survivors who can grab the meat and hide from their kills. Extinction introduced the Snow Owl, Gas Bag, Gotcha, Velonosaur, and Managarmor for survivors to tame as well as four new titan bosses that can be defeated or even tamed for a limited time. But beware of where you build, they spawn into the map's two domes and the underground forest instead of boss arenas. Valgro arrived June 2019 as the third free non-story official mod map. With it came the Dianonicus, a new pack carnivore very similar to raptors that has the ability to latch onto the side of large dinos when attacking and must be raised from a stolen egg. The map features a large wyvern trench with ice wyvern eggs near the surface and fire wyvern eggs deeper within, a large lake in the center, jungles with temples, snowy mountains, and a tundra biome full of metal and dangerous carnivores, a massive underground ocean, a large aberration style underground forest, the beautiful chalk hills, and a redwood forest with a broodmother lair to explore. You can also find two new rock golem variants, the ice and chalk golem. Unique features such as rainbows, auroras, and shooting stars make for a beautiful view, and players can find special mushrooms to harvest biotoxin to help in their taming pursuits. If you want to defeat this map, you'll have to survive a fight with the dragon, manticore, and megapithecus together. Delayed from its original holiday release, Genesis Part 1 launched February 2020, introducing a new and very different map. This unique map features five different biomes that players must teleport to instead of traveling freely across the entire map. Like Aberration, Gen 1 doesn't allow flyers to be ridden, but also disables the Tech Chest Piece Jetpack and Tech Pants Super Speed, making for a unique challenge. Genesis also introduces new missions that are available for players to earn hexagons, a new currency that can be spent with Helena to buy resources and items. Its biomes include a bog area where you'll find the creepy tree-swinging bloodstalker, an ocean with a giant turtle you can tame and build on, an arctic biome with the element-loving ferox, a lava-filled volcanic biome where you can steal magmasaur eggs, and a new space or lunar biome where you can find the new resource ambergris and space whales. Be sure to keep an eye out for the stunning X variants for some of the creatures you already know and love from other maps too. Genesis 1 also features the only water boss, Master of the Ocean, Motor, and if you complete enough missions, you can enter the system route and face the corrupted Master Controller boss. The fourth free official mod map, Crystal Isles, dropped June 2020 but was delayed for consoles. It introduced the Tropignathus and map-exclusive Crystal Wyverns, a new passive tame with three different variants, Tropical, Ember, and Blood. Though most crystal wyvern are passive, beware of the wyvern heirs found guarding their eggs in the desert wyvern hive. Crystal Isles lives up to its name with lots of large beautiful crystals found all over the map and also features a large volcano in the center of the map 
with burnt red trees all around, dangerous bogs filled with torpor-inducing corpses, beautiful floating islands, a large desert with wyverns and a griffin canyon, a unique area filled with pink trees, a large icy land to the north with a stormy dark island that has floating bubbles full of rare resources like black pearls and element shards, a giant redwood forest with a special honey cave, and plenty of ocean to explore. Despite being one of the largest maps, it doesn't have many caves to explore and is known as one of the easiest maps to collect the artifacts. When you're ready, fight the Crystal Wyvern Queen, the first original boss to be included with a free DLC. The final official story map, Genesis 2, was released in June 2021 after several delays. This map drops players into space on a Halo-type ship with two rings, one known as Eden, filled with beautiful green scenery, mountains, waterfalls, and metallic structures, and the other, known as the Corrupted Gardens, is filled with purplish-colored land, plants that want to eat you, and an alien-like cave area filled with Rockwell's innards. Between the two rings, you'll find a space area with a landscape full of resources that rotates every night as the ship moves through space. Like Genesis 1, players have access to missions and can earn currency to spend with Helena, but on this map, flyers are allowed and every survivor spawns with a tech suit. This map allows for players to learn Ingrams from all previous DLC and introduces several new creatures including the Shadowmane, Noglin, Maywing, Strider, Astrodelphus, and Voidworm, along with new R creature variants. OSD-style loot crates can be found full of resources and items, but without the horde to fight from extinction. Gen 2 also gave us many new items to play with, including a new net gun, the tech pistol, tech bow, tech canteen, minigun, an exomech, egg incubator, tech crop plot, and more. Complete enough missions and you can battle Rockwell Prime, Ark's final story boss, and the last character ascension. The last official map, and the fifth free official mod map, the Lost Island map is currently expected to release late 2021, and it's set to include the Amargosaurus, a spiky and aggressive sauropod with the ability to collect sap well and damage advanced armor. The community voted Dinopithecus, a giant pack-oriented baboon that throws tech-disabling poop, and the Sonomacrops, a small chitin-hating shoulder mount dino that works as a sort of backpack and glider with wings that spread into two large eyes that can stun smaller threats, plus a yet-to-be-decided additional community vote dino. The map itself can be found in an uncompleted state in the Steam Workshop, but as with other mod maps, some things may be removed or changed before it's released as an official map. In the map announcement, new biomes were mentioned along with mysterious ruins, a valley of waterfalls, redwood forests, swamps, deep underwater, snowy mountains, and caves. For this last official map, let me know in the comments what you would most like to see included. And if you like this video, be sure to check out the other ARC videos on the channel, and we'll see you in the next one.